Tiana Weaver. Some pro-Palestinian supporters are trying to boycott this gig because this band didn't state their stance. While I get the sentiment, I think it's unfair for the other bands who aren't uh, from Israel. Uh, I disagree if it's unfair for other bands, right? Uh, is it okay for you to boycott companies that are doing business with Israel? I would assume you would say yes, right? Because many people are boycotting BDS. That's what it's all about, right? Those bands, metal bands, or their promoters agreed to have an Israeli metal band open the show. Well, if I was living, I'll, I'll continue to use 19, 1930s, 1940s Nazi Germany. As a, if I was a, a musician playing gigs in the 1930s and my promoter had a Nazi German band singer open up for my show, I would say, no, I'm not cool with that, man. That would be my take. And if I was cool with that, then so be it. Charlie Chaplin would have boycotted your show. Charlie Chaplin was, was one of the top Hollywood creators of all time, was resisting Nazis, fascists in Hollywood before it became a fad and you know something that the united states government was pushing uh to pound the war drums right so good yeah you boycott anyone you want you have the right to boycott you can boycott people who sell ice cream by the side of the side of the road right i boycott junk food places i don't i don't eat at mcdonald's burger king wendy's kfc am i anti-chicken because i don't eat kfc am i anti anti hamburgers if i don't eat mcdonald's or wendy's or burger king no i just think that's poison for the body and the mind and the soul in this case if i attend a zion nazi show if I attend an event where those people support genocide, that's poison to my soul. That's poison to my soul. And you boycott whoever you want. Your life, your choice. Right? Your life, your choice. Thank you, Synthberry. Very well said. Much shorter than I did.